Good evening, everyone. Welcome back for our second concert of the summer. Please rise as you are able for the playing of our national anthem, followed by our state song, Home on the Range. Welcome back again. What beautiful weather we have. This is great. Can't go wrong with this. Well, our first piece tonight pays tribute to the American Community Band. The title, Country Bandstand, suggests the sounds and history of the traditional town square with its open air gazebo or band show, which is so common in small town America. Tonight we'll play two movements, chorale and march, based on American folk songs. Here is Country Bandstand.
John Philip Sousa is one of the most well-known American march composers, and the Liberty Bell is one of his most recognizable marches. Sousa was composing music for an operetta at the request of the celebrated comedian Francis Wilson. When they could not come to an agreement on payment, Sousa withdrew his partially completed manuscript, which included this lively march. Sousa and one of his band's managers were in Chicago, witnessing a spectacle called America, when a backdrop with a huge painting of the Liberty Bell was lowered. The manager suggested that the Liberty Bell would be a good title for Sousa's march. By coincidence, the next morning, Sousa received a letter from his wife in which she told how their son had marched in his first parade in Philadelphia, a parade honoring the return of the Liberty Bell. The new march then was christened the Liberty Bell. Enjoy.
The 1972 film, The Cowboys, tells the story of a grizzled veteran rancher, Will Anderson, who is almost ready to embark on a big cattle drive when his crew abruptly quits to join in the gold rush. Left with no alternative, Anderson enlists the help of a group of local schoolboys. Training the youngsters to be cowboys, Anderson manages to get the drive underway, but their long journey is placed in jeopardy when the devious bandit Long Hair sets his sights on stealing the herd. This arrangement of John Williams' film score features some of his most powerful and descriptive writing. Enjoy the Cowboys. Thank you. 
This classic Henry Fillmore march is considered one of his finest. His honor is one of Fillmore's fast and fun circus style marches, containing the classic, containing his classical whimsical look at the world. Since its premiere in 1933, it has become one of Fillmore's more popular marches. Ladies and gentlemen, his honor. Symphony is a medley featuring some of the best cartoon theme songs from years past for those young and young at heart. You will hear This Is It from The Bugs Bunny Show, Meet the Flintstones, The Jetsons, The Simpsons, Pink Panther, Animaniacs, and finishes with Merrily We Roll Along. Here is Cartoon Symphony.
is one of Cowboy Band's favorite times of each concert, our Children's March. So if you have any kids out in the audience, come on up. Katie's got some flags. Don't be shy. Come on up, kids. Come on way in the back. Come join us. Don't be shy. <laughs> our Children's March tonight is titled Barnum and Bailey's Favorite, often referred to as the granddaddy of circus marches. It was composed by Carl King in 1913. King was asked by the bandmaster of the Barnum and Bailey Circus, Ned Brill, to write a march. This has become his most famous composition, being called the finest work written to celebrate the greatest show on earth. And it is one of the most recognizable marches of all time. Here is Barnum and Bailey's favorite.
There's some fans. <laughs> yeah. The 2016 Disney film Moana tells the story of a strong-willed daughter of the chief of a Polynesian tribe who is chosen by the ocean itself to reunite a mystical relic with an ocean goddess. This medley includes How Far I'll Go, We Know the Way, Where You Are, and You're Welcome. Here is Moana.
The March Black Horse Troupe was first premiered on October 17, 1925, at a concert of the Sousa Band in Cleveland, Ohio. Frederick Fennell is quoted saying, I had not been to such an event as this one. I remember that as Sousa's march was being played, Troop A rode onto the stage and stood behind the band to the tumultuous cheering of all. The March King enjoyed a long relationship with the men and horses of Cleveland, Ohio's National Guard Cavalry, known as Troop A. Please enjoy Black Horse Troop. Um, we have another cowboy band tradition where we see if we have any visitors from out of town in the audience. Do we have anybody with us tonight? Not from Dodge? 
maybe in the back. Mess City, yes. Yes, visitors. <laughs> Not familiar with the town at all, right? Well, yes, where are you from? California, guys, I think they win. I think they beat Mess City. Well, welcome. <laughs> Our next piece is titled Travelin' Music and is based upon a fiddle tune known as the Arkansas Traveler, composed in the early 1800s by Colonel Sanford Faulkner. Lyrics have been changed for a popular children's song, Bringin' Home My Baby Bumblebee. The melody is passed around the band to many sections in this lovely piece, Travelin' Music. is a Boot Hill Variety Show standard. We play this tonight to invite you to Boot Hill on Saturday for our Founders Day celebration at seven or at 4 p.m., excuse me, 4. We'll be at the Great Western Hotel, the new Variety Show performance location, to celebrate our Dodge City history. We hope to see you there Saturday afternoon. Here is Down at the Long Branch Saloon.
this beautiful weather. Have a great evening, everyone.